So the other day I was taking a selfie to capture my declining beauty and I noticed my camera had a beauty setting, a couple of them. I was like, well, what would happen if we turned all of them up to the max? What does Sony want in my beautiful face? What does Sony see as beauty itself defined? Let's find out. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. We are about to open Pandora's box, my friend. The age-old question shall be answered today. Is it still a photograph? I said that weird. Is it a photo if it's been photoshopped? You tweaked it. Is it art? Digital art? Digital loser art? From a photographer? Do they know art? Photographers don't know very much. Stacy, yeah, and put, put your shoulder up like this. No, that's too high. You're covering your face. Down, down. Okay, back. Try it back, but angle your chin down. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, abandon that. Just say cheese. Oh, God. That will be $6,000. You're a loser. Whenever I take a photo, I do edit it. I like to bring out the vibrance, change some stuff, highlights down, shadows up, and then contrast it up to erase what I just did and counterbalance it so they fight, contrast and shadow lifting. I love that. I used to fake blurry background my photos. I thought it looked great. I was like, look at that. Look at this sheep. I wonder if I still have that picture. I had a sheep and I'd like blurried them out and I was like, take that. That was with a Canon G7X. It's full frame. But then you zoom in and it's like, oh, I can see the line. Yeah, you can see the line. That's why I got down votes. When it comes to the face though, I don't like retouching. I hate that. I did it once. I was like trying to smooth out everything. Like I took out this mole and any zit I had and I whitened my teeth and everything. And then I looked at it and I was like, who the, what is that? What is that? Just appreciate nature's beauty. Don't try to erase wrinkles. Don't remove moles. Zits are there for a reason. Your diet sucks. Leave them in there as proof that you don't know what you're doing. You have a weak mind. Leave it in there. I can understand, okay, you got ketchup on your teeth. Like, okay, just whiten that up. Why'd you go to a photo shoot with ketchup? Why'd you eat fries? You stuffed down fries? You're a seagull? Yeah, you seagull bitch. I mean, I get it. We all want to look more beautiful than we are, but then we put those expectations on people that are just like, oh, I'm not that beautiful. Wow, she's amazing. Look at her skin. It's flawless. Not one zit, not one wrinkle. I'm a failure. And then you feel bad about yourself. I hate fashion glam, all that shit. Just airbrushed everything. That's not what a human being looks like. We're ugly, decrepit, and weird. Embrace it, asshole. So I had this little Sony point and shoot. I don't even remember the model. I took a selfie and then I looked at it in the back and I noticed it had all these beauty settings. And I was like, what's that all about? And it had like skin smoothing, eye widening. I was like, what? Okay. And so I turned every single one of them up just make me as beautiful as possible, Sony, please. What is your idea of beauty? This is Sony's idea of beauty, my friend. That is beauty in the eye of the beholder as we once knew it. Just don't, it's not something you can unsee once you see it. Gerald Undone couldn't even undo this one. It's, it's been done. It's done. Sorry. It's in your mind forever now. I mean, I always knew my eyes weren't wide enough or big enough. When I'm trying to read a book, I'm just, I'm reading the same sentence over and over again. I can't even see the words. If I had bigger eyes, maybe I could get through this thing and learn something, but I can't. So Sony made my eyes a lot bigger and more beautiful. Like look at my squinty bitch eyes. What is this shit? 
bullshit. Those are real eyes. So, I also have no flaws in my face. It's just completely smooth. I had acne at the time, but it's gone. Thank you, Sony. Not one wrinkle. Not one bit of skin wrinkle disease. I like that. I also didn't realize I wasn't Mexican enough. I just, I had no idea. Just not Mexican enough. Mexicans are very beautiful and hardworking. How do you stop that? They're gonna take over the world with their beauty and work ethic. Scary. The future. Like, Mexicans, way to go. So, Sony knows that. They got me. So I'm much more Mexican-like. Smooth. Teeth. Just bleached. Bleached with the sun of Jupiter. Jupiter has its own sun. It's very white. That's how I treat my teeth. I've certainly never had a complaint about them being yellow. Not on this channel. I certainly don't have teeth as a spam word and everybody gets banned who says it. I would never do that. I can take the criticism. So what the fuck was that, Sony? That's your idea of beauty? Just no details in the face, eyes? Frickin' super wide hawk eyes that could see through lies? Can you see through lies, Sony? Is that how you know the competition is gonna make a terrible camera? And then you wait to pounce? because you have big eyes. I know this. How come modern cameras don't have these fantastic features? Like the point and shoots do. Point and shoots are fun. They got little things like that. Oh, now what am I supposed to do? Just take a normal selfie like this? Who's gonna hire me? And that. With the arm in there, look how dark my arm is. It's a Mexican arm. A hard-working Mexican arm. Wow, look at that. I might get the job. So let me know down below who's more beautiful, the me or Sony me. Sony conspiracies. Is he better looking? Is it because he's Mexican and you know he would do a good job for an affordable price? This has gotten very racist real quick, but just embrace the racism in your heart. If you mean well while well, you're racist, a good thing. How are we all gonna come together if we can't laugh at our, our faults? We can't. So, be friendly and racist. Is that the message? And what's up with this slope? Has that been doing that the whole time? That's worse. That's great. Thanks for warning me. So I'm just gonna leave. After you buy a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. ISO. Perfect exposure.